Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a Czar Congregation Mod Spotlight. Today I bring to you Manacraft, and yes, I have a rabbit on my head. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. How are you doing? I can get off my head. Alright. Um, this is Manacraft, but this is within my own personal selection of mods. So I have Thomcraft installed, Wisp over there. More creatures for that rabbit and some other things. And Battle Gear. So yeah, I have a shield and stuff, so... Yeah. Okay, back onto the task at hand. You're going to need pretty much to do this by steps. And in all honesty, these are just spells, so it's like step one, getting the mana. Step two, getting the spells, and there's a wisp there. Okay. So, <clears throat> how to get the mana. Basic materials you're going to need is wood in order to make bowls, sticks, reeds to make paper, and then mana berries and essence of magic. First things first, mana berries are collected by these bushes here. These are mana bushes. See, if we break them, we get a mana berry. Break them, more mana berries. <coughs> um, then there's the essence of magic, which there's two ways to actually obtain. There's one way, which you're going to need to go to another, hence that portal. And then the second way that doesn't require the portal. So now let's show you the secondary ways before we actually go to the portal. So what you're gonna need to do is cook up some berries. No, oh, that's what we do. You're gonna need to make a bowl, four bowls. You're gonna need a stick, four sticks apparently, and then put a bowl under a stick, and you get a mortar and pestle, pistol. Pestle, whatever. Um, <laughs> then with these, you just put that in there. So here, and three mana berries. They get mana extract. So let's put some more here. And we got some mana extract. Oops. Do that. Okay. Now, what you do with mana extract is you cook it in the furnace. Let's just wait for that to do. Then you get mana dust. Now the issue with that is, let's get here on NEI, some more mana dust, is that mana dust is a little bothersome. You're going to need a lot of mana dust in order to get mana ex extract. So this consumes a lot of berries, and I don't know if there's a way to actually farm these berries yet, but you're going to need a lot of do, do a lot of exploring just for one extract, so essence. So let's throw that away. Now let's go to another. <coughs> In the Nether, what you're gonna need to find is these blue floating blocks. Basically, get my danger no. Break them and boom get multiple essences. I had one, now I have six. There's more over there, so let's get out of here. I think I don't want to mess with the nether right now. And we're back here. So, throw that away. Now that you have some essence, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need some paper as well. So, let's get some paper. Then again, I have it here already set up. Let's just throw us away then. <laughs> Some people may be wondering, what are these blue bowls? Okay, let's go here. Put a bowl under some mana essence, essence of mana, and a mana berry on top, and what you get is this end result. Or is it the other way around? Why isn't that working? Okay, apparently this is uh, location specific. So this is a shaped uh, recipe. So let's go here. You drink these bowls and queue them all up. And you notice you start getting mana. <coughs> what you're gonna need with this mana is pretty much. What you're gonna do with this mana is pretty much just. Uh, 
use them like any other game does. Concentrate your mana, start saving up your mana, make sure you regenerate correctly, and go spell casting nuts. So let's put those away. And then go here. Now, what you're gonna do here is put paper, the essence, and you get an arcade bolt. So let's go try that out that horse. Here, horsey. He jumped! Okay. What about that fox? Eats up a bit of mana. Doesn't do much damage. Okay, that took a few. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm uh, a little under the weather. So, let's get something stronger than that. We're gonna get Arcade Missile. <laughs> Everyone loves magic missiles, so... Oh! Notice how it consumes more mana. It is a stronger spell. And stop running away, horse. Oh, I'm out of mana. I'm out of mana. Yay. Go. Nope, need more mana. There we go. Dead horsey. I already did that another. Okay. Now, what are some other spells? You get this one. Why do you need a bag for? Well, most people, oops, always get lost somewhere. They need their own little bed and they want to get back home. So let's pull out a bed over here. There's a bed. Any AI, stop bailing me now. Okay, there we go. And let's place a spawn location. I have Somnia, so I can sleep in the day or the night. Doesn't matter. So with this, let's say we want to get further away. Just cast it, and boom, you're back here. Pretty nifty when you're on those long trips in the in your minds and you're completely, utterly lost. It's like, where am I? So, on to the next step. More spells. We've already done the introduction of mana, so how about some more spells? Now, let's put some paper, essence, and then a torch, and we get a spawn torch scroll. This is good for those people that run out of torches while they're mining. So, boom. This is a mana torch. Does the exact same thing as a normal torch, only you break it, it's gone. So, let's spot a couple of these. And notice how it takes half a point of mana. Doesn't take the full point, it just takes half a point. So, let's go to the more spells. For this next one, you can use fire charge. And a fire charge is made by coal, gunpowder, and blaze powder. So let's get this, and, oops, go over here and craft that. Let's make it day. And you get a weak fireball. Now, there is a strong fireball, but uh, I'm not going to go into details, because where's the fun? Let's keep uh, arcade magic a little mysterious, shall we? And this is what the fireball does. Just lights up on fire, and watch that horse run away. Run, horsey. Run. Yes, bird. Okay. <laughs> Next one, you're gonna need some rotten flesh. So let's put these away. What do you need rotten flesh for? Summon zombie. Oh, that's fun. Oh, hello. Okay. And there, here you see Dark Freak's zombie. Wonderful little pet. Doesn't burn in the sun. That's a plus. I just need something to attack me. Let's make it night real quick. Darker. Too dark. Let's go over here and chase that. Okay. I need something to attack me now. I don't know how useful these things are, but let's look. Around, shall we? Let's put a spell here. Let's see how these spells fare in combat. Wolf, there we go. Hello, you dastardly little thing. Uh oh, zombie, protect me! Zombie, protect me! There we go. They seem to do pretty well. They kill that wolf pretty fast. So, <coughs> come back here. Make a date. Oh, red werewolf. 
Okay, that's awkward. Get him out of here. You're hurting me. Stop it. Stop it. You stop it. Okay. Now let's move on to our next spell. We have this one. Um, for this one you're gonna need a melon, a gold nugget, in order to make glistening melon. Glistening melon basically makes a heal spell, which is quite handy for those people that are always running out of food as well. So let's uh go take some fall damage. See if we can find something. Yes, no, maybe. Okay, screw that. Spawn some blocks. <coughs> oh. oh, wait, I have these boots. Never mind. Let's go though. What? I think the whole entire armor set? Okay, I'm not taking fall damage. Um, that's awkward. Give me the ring. Yeah, it must have been the ring. Okay, let's put that back on. I forgot I had the ring over Kena. Okay. Um. Let's see about that. Okay, basically you use it and boom, full health. Eight up three mana bar. I'm not sure if it's sensitive to the amount of health you need, but let's check that, shall we? Nope. Three for three. Okay. <clears throat> nice enough. Now we get the next one, which is the most awesome in my opinion. For those traveling long distances, the teleport scroll. <coughs> Does the same effect of tossing an ender pearl, but without losing the pearl. And all you can do is just recharge your mana, which is pretty handy. It does teleport you a set distance, it's not that far, it's not that great. But it's good for getting across gaps. Especially those annoying gaps you don't want to waste uh, blocks on, so... Oop. Boom. We're good. Helps you cross those ravine uh, holes instead of just wasting like what, 10 blocks getting across. But eh, it's all personal preference. Still a really awesome spell. Oh, that was cool. Well, that pretty much does it for this mod. There are more spells. You can actually check here on NEI. There are Life Tap. Ice Bolt, Poison, Water water Breathing, Super Strength, Fireball, and Summit Skeleton, along with Vampiric Bolt. But, we're going to leave those up to imagination to see who can discover all the recipes. Or, who's going to cheat and look at the forum posts for how to make these spells. But, then again, that's all up to you. If you want to keep that mystery alive, go for it. And if not, go for it. This was Dark Freak for the Zar Congregation, bringing you Matacraft. Have a nice day.